shit lighting. Late at night, ish. Half past ten. Just nice to be in a house where I can do this now. I don't like to talk about new toys, so this is not a review, okay? I'd like to point this out right now. This is not a review. This is purely a demonstration of the gushiness that I feel for a specific little ditty that I picked up today. Scotty Horror Bags. <clears throat> I, owe, I owe Scotty Horror Bags one because he sent me brothers. <laughs> Oh, it's been a roll buddy kind of day. God damn. This has flaws. The other mode has flaws. However, however. Generation 1 Optimus Prime. So you see the chest is more or less the same kind of size, yes? But he's that tall, yes? Yes. Forgive the transformation, it's not an easy transformation. I'm gonna whiz through it while just talking rubbish. Uh, but if you just forgive me, I'll, I'll sort of do a running commentary like I normally do. Shall I turn it into a robot? All that sort of stuff. Uh, Went to Toys R Us today, they've not had it in there for a while, a couple of people have been generous enough to say would you like me to middleman you one day, and I was like well, I don't really need anyone to send me the toy, because it will turn up, I just need to stop being a fucking fool and just stop thinking, look, look, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna start talking, I've not had a very good tummy recently, because I got, I just ate sugary foods all weekend. And went for a shower this morning and thought I was going to fart and end up shitting myself in the shower. <laughs> it's been a really bad day. <laughs> Except I got that, which is brilliant. So, oh, conflict, conflict. And I got those. So it's been an awesome day where I shit myself in the shower. Fucking horrible. <laughs> I think last night's dinner must have been funny. You pull that down. So that was all up there, look, see? And then you've got that, so you, you open the big nose up. You've all seen this before. I don't really want to demonstrate this quite so much. This is Now, this is one of the hard things about this figure. Smokestacks that aren't painted. I don't even think they're painted on the Takara one. I'm a, I'm a little dismayed about it. Uh, uh, am I gonna pull this? Oh, in this mode, when this bad boy locks together, it's fucking stuck. That's it. There's no. It's not coming apart. Not for shit. It's really, really, really well clickified together. So we're going to do that. We're going to bring the face up a little bit. We're going to well, somehow. It's a fudge. It's just a fudge. But I need to get to a certain part so I can show you other certain parts. Does that make sense at all? I'm going to straighten the arms out like that, and then that. that look, that's the bit. So you got the, like the cabin that I had a minute ago, and then when you flip that over, or the other way around, when you flip that over like that, it starts to make the sides of the robot, and then you turn that like that, so he can go Bebo like that, um, and then when you plug this in, it plugs in. He says down there quite securely. Bring the legs down. Bring the back up. Bring, see, bring the back up. This, this is why I love this. Clever. Like that. Push that in there. And then that, that locks into a little cubby hole square that sort of sits there, if you can see that, like that. So that sits there. That's quite nice. But only quite nice. But when you push this over, it becomes the roof. It becomes his shoulders. Now, this looks kind of funny because the actual... Optimus Prime has got much smaller shoulders and you can sort of look over there a bit more. A bit more, which makes this one look really blocky and a bit sort of toyish. However, by doing what I just showed you, okay, you've got a, a plug there and a peg there, so they're going to go together in like that, okay? But then there are hooks here, here, these bits, here, and then matching hooks here. And all you do is close those windows, close the doors like that. And this thing is as solid as a rock. 
I absolutely, it's just smeg and amazing. I don't care that it's got some marginally shonky elbow joints, and I don't really care that the wrist joints are so stiff you've got to put the gun in there to turn them round to make him look slightly better. Even this, this is, you see this? I've watched it a load of times, and I was like, oh, I've got to have that. But only because I'm a prime crackhead. Overall, I didn't think it looked that good. It looked a bit fussy and overcomplicated. But the problem is, is the sculpt on here, if I pull that down like that, like that, and you've got a foot, see? Turn that around like that. You've got a foot. And you get loads of that way, but very little of that way, like that, which kind of doesn't make any sense, but it's okay. The figure doesn't suffer too badly from it. It's got beautiful light piping. Saturday Night Fever, RIP. Uh, beautiful light piping. There we go, I'm going to turn the arms around the right way. Which I can't really show you unless I can see Darth Vader. Do you know where Darth Vader is? I thought he was over here. Nope, I can't find him. Tough. Ugh. I might. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it on my phone. I'm probably going to all blind, blind you all. All blind you all? Just talking for the sake of it this evening. I don't know what's going on. I'm just excited to have it. I just needed to sort of... Tell everyone that I'm excited to have it. It's very sexy. Uh, oh. Flashlight. So if I go like that and then I go like that, look. There you go, look. So I'm gonna take this little screw out tomorrow, get my airbrush rigged up, probably Thursday. Yes. Uh, take the eyes out, paint the eyes blue. Put them back in so he's got blue eyes. Go and get one. I know they're a bit like hen's teeth at the moment, to be honest with you. And in four weeks' time, even two weeks' time, we're all going to be sat there going, yeah, it's all right, I don't know what the fucking fuss was all about. I got that one. But right now, you have to go and get this toy, because this thing, that if you enjoy transformations, it's not if you're a, if you are a beast formers guy, this isn't going to be your favourite one. And I put a picture up today of, like, before and after with the truck mode and the robot modes sat next to each other of the Generation 1 one. Which, by the way, look how tall he is now, look. Look how much bigger he gets. The way this thing unfolds is just like an, it's like an artificial intelligence j j jigsaw. I like it. It's very good. I'm just over the moon with it. Um, thank you for the toys that I got. Thank you for this. Toys are, thank you for Toys R Us and the quite sexy but quite miserable manager that works in there. I know I keep talking about it. I just, I wish I could just stand there and go, excuse me young lady, please find out the information that I need. But every time I talk to her, I'm just like, I'm poison. No, she looks at me, you fucking idiot. What are you doing being 40 years old buying toys? Get out. Boots me out the toy store. Uh, get one of these. Just get one of these. You've got to go and get one. If you like trucks, bots, great. If you like classics feel, because it's got a very classics feel to it, it's a lot less movie verse aesthetic. It's a lot less, hardly any made of knives on this one. Um, I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to leave it there for a moment, because the head sculpt is absolutely phantasmagorical, and I just kind of want it to focus on the head sculpt and not me. Um, this has been SMS number one saying, I completely, absolutely adore this thing. It's beautiful.